What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Kelly. For those that are new, sorry for my little hiatus. I've been focusing on my music, which I want to release at some point this year. If I'm not here, if I'm not putting up videos, that's what we're doing. But we're back, and I'm going to continue dropping these videos weekly for you guys while I finish up this music. I'm also going to switch things up a little bit, and instead of just dropping mixing tutorials and mic reviews, I want to start making videos like this where I talk about the music industry, how to navigate it, topics surrounding the music industry, reaction videos, things like that, you know, spice it up a little bit. And today I wanna talk about albums and why you shouldn't be dropping albums as an upcoming artist. I assume everyone watching this channel is an upcoming artist. If you have a decently large fan base to the point that you're living off your music, then albums are great. Drop an album because you have enough listeners and supporters that will listen to the album and support the album. But not too many people wanna listen to Mike from Ohio's new album. No one knows who Mike is. They might listen to the first song or the first two songs, but not too many people are gonna sit there and listen to an hour of music from someone they don't know. We all got lives to attend to, but like I said, someone might listen to the first song or the first two songs. The better way to go about it and get eyes on your music and build a fan base is to drop one song albums, AKA singles, but do that on a consistent basis. This way you're getting the most out of your music. Say you have 13 unreleased songs, which is a good sized album. You could drop one of those songs every other week for six months straight, or you could drop one song every single week for three months straight. And while you put out these songs, you could be working on your next batch of music. Just imagine you dropped a song last week, this week, next week, the week after. Over time, this will catch on and people will be like, damn, they're going crazy. Just, they just keep dropping music. You'll be in front of people's faces on their timeline every week. Between drops, you could be doing Instagram videos, TikTok videos, promoting your previous release, or the next week's release. But this way you can stay consistent all year around. And if you drop the album, you're gonna promote the album for say like a month, maybe two months, and then you're gone for another six months while you make more music and the hype will die down. I used to watch this show called The 100 on Netflix and they would drop new episodes every single Wednesday. I was hooked. Eventually they stopped dropping episodes every single Wednesday to work on the next season. By the time they came back, I moved on. I was watching other TV shows and I stopped watching The 100. You wanna keep people hooked and a good way to do that is to be consistent. People's attention spans nowadays are very short, so consistency is key. So stack up a bunch of music, start dropping singles consistently, do this for a year and I guarantee you, you will see results. A good example of this is Russ. Russ dropped 11 albums and he said he still had less than a thousand followers. 11 albums. So he started dropping singles every single week. After six months of doing this, he was making $600 a month. A year after that, he was making 100K a month and it blew him up and then he dropped the album. When you drop an album, you wanna have a fan base that will support the album. And again, people's attention spans are very short nowadays. Even for some of the biggest artists in the world, album sales have dropped dramatically over the years. So it's gonna be very hard for someone that has no fans to get eyes on their music dropping albums. You wanna play the singles game if you're looking to build a fan base and get eyes on your music. And you also wanna be prepared. You don't wanna drop a song, make a song, drop a song, make a song, drop a song. You're gonna burn yourself out. Make a bunch of music, 10 to 20 songs, and then start dropping singles on a weekly or every other week basis. Drop a single, do a lyric video for it, a music video for it, do promotion, like I said, in between the drops. It's a very good way to stay consistent in front of people's faces and build a fan base. Anyways, that is it for today's video. It's good to be back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna continue trying to do videos like this where I just talk about the music industry and stuff surrounding the music industry instead of just doing mixing tutorials and mic reviews. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about albums, singles. What's your opinion on it? And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Peace.